What's up guys, it's Matt Thomas Jones here, also known as the D365Geek, and today we're talking about Power Automate and the Microsoft 365 Outlook Connector, and we're going to look at the action which is Get Contact Folders. So Get Contact Folders is a lot like Get Calendars, mm -hmm. it allows you to request and get information regarding folders for your contacts that you may store in Outlook. So let's take a look at it today. So in my flow here, I have um, a trigger here, which we're not really going to use, uh, and we can click on New Step. We can either search for the Microsoft or Office 365 connector, they keep changing the name on it, uh, or we can just expand this and we find this connector here, it says Office 365 for Outlook. You may also say Microsoft 365, depends on the day of the week. Um, uh, if I scroll down, there is a action down here that says, get contact folders v2. If I select this, it says there's no further information needed, it's just going to run through and provide me that detail. So if I click on test now, I can just use a previously run test and hit save and test. And what that is going to do is go into error um, because that's always useful. Um, let's, try that. let's try that again. Run successfully this time, thought it would do. Um, we can expand the jet folders and we can see in here um, that we have a single folder. So in my Outlook, I have a single folder, which is where all my contacts are. Uh, and we can see that the, the folder ID and parent folder ID match, uh, meaning that it's the same folder. Now you can have groups of folders. So you could have like folders of like new contacts or contacts by company by you know technology or you know by selling or by you know whatever you're doing with them uh, and you could have more than more than those in here and you could list those things out so what this does is it just list the folder so the folder is the thing that you need um, the thing that contains all the contacts what you can do from here is you could do something like um, specify uh, this and then run through it so we could search again office 365 and we can look at an action that we follow that we did last time which is get contacts and in here, it asks for the folder ID. So the folder ID is actually the thing that we're going to get in this get action step here. And um, we could specify this in, for instance. So we could say add custom item um, if we had more than one. And we could say write the ID of that one coming back. And again, we can see this could be one or more folders coming back. It might just be not might not just be the one that we had. So we can um, you can um, use that action. It's going to hit and apply to each around it. The apply to each is because it may have more than one who made to loop through the values. And then I've just added that same custom value back in here. And we can just list this and go through. So this is the action that I covered in my last video. Uh, you can check that out up here. Um, and we can run this through. So if I click on test and just hit save and test. What this will do is it'll go off, it'll find all the folders, and then it'll specify that folder in here. And if I had more than one folder, it would loop through for all the folders. It doesn't, it just has a single folder, but this is like a, a use case for it. So I can scroll through and I can see all my contacts that it's pulling back and all the details about those contacts in here. So there you have it. That is what the get, fo get contact folders action does. Uh, but what do you guys use it for? Do you use it to get some information? Do you trigger things on it? Like, you know, what is it you, you use this for? Let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video and you liked it, if you could drop a like on the video and share it with your friends, that would be much appreciated. If you've not already, hit that subscribe button to subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you next time.